And good evening, this is to Nerds to Human, and welcome back to our Rebel Prologue campaign of Medieval 2 Total War. And you join me at Bologna, where last time we kicked out the darn Papal States. And of course, uh, this was going to be important because we really needed to prevent them from taking over half of Europe while we dealt with Britannia. But with Bologna taken and Florence... Uh, well, giving away a sacrifice. Hopefully, we can now keep them in place. We have ourselves some mailed knights being trained in Genoa, and Bologna is being upgraded to at least a wooden castle. So, if nothing else, maybe uh, maybe we can at least hold them here. Uh, there are there are other options. Uh, Naples down the south, but I'd have to build that up as well. So we'll yeah, we'll, we'll just keep an eye on all of that. But over in Britannia, yes, we still have the Normans bumbling around in London. They are not really trying to launch any attack on me right now, which is intriguing because I actually made sure that their AI was set to be a little bit more aggressive. So, hmm, they seem a bit stuck right now. They don't really know what to do because, yeah, when I tested this before to try and get the money right, they would come and land here at Khan, and I, I destroyed the boat, of course, so that didn't happen on this run. But, yeah, they don't seem to be wanting to be attacking the Saxons either, which is strange when you consider that they are still at war. As for Carnarvon, well, it's starting to look strong, isn't it? We managed to, well, repel is probably the right term for it. Repel the force last time. Uh, some of our longbows, though, as well as our good old general over here, Ambrose Adams. Yeah, he has arrived from Normandy, so he, we, he may well be leading the assault on the Knights of Nottingham and York pretty darn soon. And yeah, on that note, Edinburgh that we took last time as well is, well, it's not got a very strong army, but it is gathering some forces. Inverness is training more, retraining some of our troops. And soon enough, yeah, we'll be able to head south and smash up the Saxons. So, yeah, I guess we'll end our turn and we'll see where it all goes. Well, after one very quiet and uneventful turn, we have got ourselves a bit of movement with King Harold, who is being chased down by Lord Rufus, but not really to the extent where he actually goes to kill him. Very, very strange behaviour. We do now have London as 13% heretic. That's nice. We have ourselves, by the way, extra heretics coming over in this direction. So we're going to start causing them more and more trouble. This guy's having a bad headache. Wow, he's not looking good at 32. My day, sir. Okay, we have managed to, as last time we discussed, snuck some cavalry up to the north with the added road movement. They were just able to get far enough to avoid these guys. That means that we can gather our forces up here at Edinburgh. And, okay, do I want to leave anything behind? Maybe just one... Yeah, but that peasant can stay behind. That is beautiful. That's a full stack right there. These guys, by the way, have some experience on them. So maybe we do leave a second unit in behind. Highland Rabble. Yeah, why not? You guys stay behind. This army is in pretty good shape. I'll reorganise the order... Um, yeah, <laughs> for next turn, that's absolutely grand. Things looking awfully better now. I've been saving up just a tiny bit of money. I didn't really spend it last turn. It's a few turns until, yeah, we can get ourselves an upgrade at Genoa. But Bologna is ready to be a castle. I think that looks like an interesting decision. And, yeah, mailed knights. We can get that upgrade before too long as well. I think on these, yeah, North Italian ones, we're only able to train the knights. So, the interest to see if the castle gives us any options, of course... Many of their units that we get as the rebels are yeah, from the cities. They're those militia lads. So armoured sergeants, okay, there's an opportunity to maybe get them. But I'm not sure, as I say, culture with the rebels is always just a little bit strange. Wooden Castle Bologna is going to be immediately upgraded. That is absolutely fine. And yeah, a bit of retraining to these guys who yeah have themselves silver shield as well as the experience now, which is very, very nice indeed. Two armour. Up to nine defence is not great, but it's certainly something. This force is now just stuck there, having tried to chase us down. And OK, we're looking pretty good to be making our next moves in a minute. Financial and military is behind. Production and population are top. That is magnificent stuff. And can't I know we can get ourselves more longbow. Uh, we will be blasting a load of those out before too long. Do not worry about it, but... Um, yeah, for now, I'm just trying to spend my money a little bit more cautiously. At last, the Saxons are going to reinforce their king. And these guys are going to head towards Carnarvon. That's fine by me. They are leaving York wide open just when I send the army there. That's excellent news. I'd love it if um, King Harold sent... Ooh, that's a new movement. Intriguing. The Papal States considering 
as it's just a merchant, so they're not doing too much more. Milan, they want some more. They want four units there, and then we'll reward me with some military units. Now, technically, where is my capital, by the way? It's normally Dijon, actually, as the rebels, is it not? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Does it say where our capital is? Capital is Invoness. Okay. Well, that could potentially be doing us better money-wise, actually, if we change it. Now, if it was something in the middle of nowhere, I kind of wouldn't touch, but if it's going to be Inverness, then, okay, we can change that. Change it to a city. A little bit more... Well, actually, I mean, realistically, if we were to change it to something over here, it'd be much more sensible. But, hey, let's change to Edinburgh and see if that will make a difference. So, 2 one three, 3 right now. Usually, when you play as the Rebels, the one of the key early moves is to change your settlement over or change your capital over. So... We are now... Oh, that's so much better. Okay, we just changed over to a city. That's a massive improvement. Well, we only got Edinburgh last time, so it's not the biggest thing in the world to have only just changed that. But yeah, your capital basically is to do with the corruption, but also something to do with just the fact that it is a city itself. It does seem to make a big difference. So I didn't really check what the corruption expenditure was before, but you can probably flick back and go have a look. But yeah, that's a big difference in our money. And York... Oh, is that red... Oh, no, that's a green. That's a green. We can make it. All the rams in the world slashed five of them. So, yeah, we're going to take Edward Ganmon down. And the Scots can take England. And Carnarvon. I don't know what's in that army, which is a bit of a shame. Um, Do I want to spend money on any of these guys? Maybe we'll just retrain what we've got, actually. You know what? Yeah, that's not the worst idea. We've got plenty of units there now. We had the reinforcements from Khan. So no need to worry about that. And... And, 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 oui, moi. Yes, the French heretic is here to come to London. And that is excellent. And we have a new guy as well, another French heretic, coming over to London soon enough. We can do that, and that will make it nice and easier to pick him up and drop him off next time. Yeah, Carnarvon might actually, Thomas, need more than that, thinking about it, if that force is coming in here. I really want to take that proper... Yeah, proper normal force on in the field. But if we have to kill them that way, then that's the way we do it, damn it. Right, York under siege, Carnarvon probably soon to be under siege. And if that's the case, hmm, I think we want to get some of these. Oh, do we want to spend all that right now? I mean, we want to go and send them in. It would be very helpful. What do we have over here? A few turns away from that. Okay, we're just stalling for time over in Italy. Let's not worry about the Pope immediately, but yeah. We need to get reinforcements in to help Carnarvon, and the troops from here, the longbows, will make all the difference. I mean, you eventually do want them to take on this army. So, you know, I'll wait a turn, because it's not going to help us survive this battle anyway, the upcoming one, if they do indeed come for me. So, let's not worry about that. Let's just send, yeah, send their peasants back there, and the hunting rebel can just hang on in Edinburgh. And yeah, we'll end our turn and see what's going to happen because it looks like Saxons and the English are really getting in each other's faces now, which is very nice to see. But they might be having a fight over Carnarvon too. So that's intriguing. By the way, in case you're curious, there are like no mercs at all on the prologue, which is interesting. You think they might just introduce it. I know it's not new to this game, but you think it might be in the tutorial. Alas, it is not. Rather annoyingly, the Saxons decided not to attack Carnarvon, meaning that, yep, the English, or the English, the Normans, eh, basically the English, are here to take Carnarvon. That's a little bit irritating, but they can give it a go. If they want to attack, we've got a good chance of holding them off. I say good. How good a chance do we have? We have the three peasants from last time. We have a fourth one, as well as these two town militia, who are obviously terrible. Uh, I got them to bronze. Okay. Fine, I was trying to get silver on the uh, on the full health unit, but there we are. Two archers and two longbows. Longbows do lovely work. Levy spearmen, we've actually got some... Well, they're actually terrible, aren't they? Uh, we've got something, anyway, to go and hold the front gate. Now, this is the full-on army that invaded England, just not with William the Conqueror himself. They are already <laughs> ready to come in. So, okay, rather than a big pitched battle, which is what I was hoping to face them with... Ooh. Yes... Rather than a full pitch battle, we have some armoured swordsmen. Yeah, if I could be upgrading some of my barracks and things here, oh, I could be getting some of those guys out as well, in theory. That would be that would be very nice indeed. Okay, let's just get the heretic over for a moment. Get the boat 
back and now what are we at 23 percent that's causing them problems i love it okay England might take a while. This is going to be a bit of a pain. We've got York to go and smash. Let's just check on his popiness. I don't really see anything going on. I will just use these guys as a scout before I disband them. There's the Pavise. There's the General. And then we disband the boats as I do every turn. Okay, end of turn report looks very similar to before. Some retrained peasants. So yeah, Carnarvon. I wish I'd retrained those earlier, but hey ho. I didn't think that army would actually suddenly start moving, lulled into a false sense of security. Okay, let's get these guys... Where can we get them? Squatting in the forest over here for now. We can move them elsewhere in time. Now, what they could do is just upgrade some of this army that's about to smash York. So, yeah, we're going to head into York now. And from there, we can grab those men... And just add them in. Yeah, give us a bit of extra armoured swordsmen, a couple of longbowmen. I mean, that's lovely. Mailed knights. Oh, this is looking excellent. We are going to crush the entire of Britannia and the world, of course. Prince Godwin. So we have Prince Godwin, who's going to apparently never die because that's what happened last time. 17 attack. That's why he's murdering our peasants. Picked up against the armour they didn't have as well. Uh, nine defence. We are attacking not in the snow. Uh, just worth noting, I guess. And he also had Huskarls and Thanes. So yeah, Thanes are very much the spearmen. Good morale, pretty darn chunky on the defence. And Huskarls are kind of the opposite. Effective against armour and very high attack, which is basically the same unit as the general. Fine, let's weigh on in. In we go then, and the rams are just being sent in at many, many a wall, which is lovely. I did send a second unit over onto this flank. Which is marvellous news. I'm just going to get my archers then into position to make sure that we get lots and lots of shots into them. That'll be absolutely marvellous. Okay. So, 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 my archer friends, just get over there. The idea of the archers, by the way, was just that we could just shoot over into the side of them, but uh, they don't seem to be standing there. Um, I don't really see any of the towers on just because they've stood <laughs> weirdly in between all their towers. So, at the moment, this is not going to start very well for them. At the very least, their Huskars over here, or the Earl's Huskars, have got themselves behind the building, meaning that, yes, it's going to be a very good trick shot to shoot through the window here and take out their general. So we will see about that. These guys are presumably getting themselves shot. What are you? You're the Huskars, so yeah, they're not going to be too... Well, maybe they got the shield off their back. They'd be in a better position, but yeah, at the moment, they're just uh, getting shot. This guy's got the right idea, although apparently still taking a few hits. Oh, that's like we're just melting the Huskars. This has worked out perfectly. The archers are in, in a perfect position. And these guys have not activated any of the towers yet. What an absolute mess. Oh, they've got the tower on. It's a bit of a shame. But oh well, they're not going to burn anything. It is already raining anyway. And the Huskars are... Well, the old Huskars are at least at the gateway. Which means... Oh, these guys are now getting some tower shots at us. But there we go. Down we go. And with that, we already... Oh, hi. Into the breach. Yeah, we, we. I know how to battle. Thank you very much. In goes another ram. Smashy, smashy. And with that, yeah, the way is now over. Oh, no, they're running away. No, don't be boring. I don't want to shoot with the plaza. That's just dull. Oh, utter, utter boring tit. Oh, well. It's fine. We'll just continue to break the city and we'll have to fix it in a minute. That's just a bit irritating. Maybe we should stop bothering with this last one. At least it's too late. Oh, we've got to spend all the money now to fix this place. God darn it. Why is it with Yorkshire? I thought you wanted to be free. Why are you running away? Why? We still have some units moving around, but I think it's time to shoot them down. We have a couple units of archers over here. Which is lovely, they're going to shoot them in the back. But we also have a couple units over here. Yay! What do they want to do? They want to run for the slightly softer target, or at least what they decide is the softer target. That's absolutely fine. They want to run over this way. And then these archers over here are just going to just, just retreat a tiny bit. Excellent. And we'll indeed have these Highlanders run on in. Beautiful. And over on this side, archers have... Where's their shot end, by the way? Around there. Okay. We've got a few seconds to go and do that. That means that these two guys can come in and take on those Huskars who are, at the moment, just being shot down. That's fine. So these guys are just going to run on in and pin them into position. 
you guys get yourself past. And we'll just leave those chunky lads doing it. We just go up those other guys there as an extra defence. That'll be perfectly fine. Okay, uh, they don't know what they want to do. We've actually got some cavalry back here, by the way. That's nice. They actually arrived. More chunk. More chunk in. Oh, yeah, we've technically already got the city under control. That's perfect. Archers should be getting a nice shot in right now. These guys are just doing what they need to. Perfect. Okay, you two. Archers, get yourselves over there. And Mr. Cavalry, can you come thundering on in? That's fine. They should have a pretty clear charge at them, actually. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to get absolutely massacred. Sorry, Huskars. Ching, ching, ching. And they are gone. Okay, perfect. You know what, guys? You pull out of there. That is absolutely grand. Uh, these guys are just doing their job. Yeah, yeah, you pull back. You pull back. That's fine. We don't need you there. We don't need you to get yourself killed. Their general is fleeing. Oh, no, sir. You don't get to flee. Your glitchy silver ass has to go down, damn it. Where are you anyway on that note? Can't see him. Down he goes. I couldn't see his glitchy silver ass because it was covered in blood. And now we have victory and glory. Okay, that was a pretty perfectly executed plaza manoeuvre there, albeit only against three units. But, you know, three good units. So that's absolutely fine. You get to be... No, 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 no. You get execution. You get execution. We, we, we're going to shit our own guys now. We, we killed him. I think we managed to maybe kill one of ours. I don't know if he was already dead or not. Yeah, actually, totally killed one of our own. Sorry, Steve. It sometimes happens like that. So, clear victory. Only lost 27 men taken over York. And once again, York will be under the heel of the rebel York. And with that, York is back in our hands. And I mean, technically back in our hands because it was before I edited the game file. So there we are. Fair and raw. He's gained some chivalry for that. Very nice. Uh, not sure it really helped you at all because apparently, yeah, you're already cruel and cunning. So I probably should have burnt down the four people that were left in York. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Fine. York is looking very, very strong at this point, apart from the fact that it has no walls. So maybe we should deal with that. Uh, we can't retrain anything right now. Peasant archers can't get retrained, so... Okay, yeah, Levitana, that's something, but not an awful lot. Now, okay, Nottingham has a pretty big force. I... Okay, maybe this turns out to be the finale rather than this army, because, yeah, uh, taking on... Is it a fortress? Isn't it castle right now? Okay. If they upgrade that to a fortress, then that is going to be one hell of a massive battle finale for us. Uh, that might be the way it has to go, fine. Um, I guess it's just time to end our turn. I might spend a bit of money. Not sure where I want to spend it in that case. Yes, okay. Highlanders, just remind me, what actually are they? 11-5. See, in my brain, I'm treating them like Viking Raiders, but they're so much worse. So much worse than them. Okay, over in Khan then. Is it time to spend the money on you? We're one turn away from the castle there, so we'll get the castle on you. We'll see what troops we get and what we can train there. It might be that we just go for a long vacation later on uh, down to Italy to finish off the Pope. Maybe we won't build the whole army up down there, but we'll see about that. Let's end a turn. Let's see what's going to happen in Carnarvon. Oh, indeed, Augustine Watkins is going to head on into Carnarvon, and this is not a battle that I feel too confident about. Uh, he has himself, well, William the Conqueror's army at this stage. Quite a lot of Archer militia, which I'm not sure is going to help him very much, but um, Armoured Sergeants... They're not great, but they're going to chunk through my lads. I have four peasants and some militia. Yeah, not a lot. Levymen, militiamen, peasants. We're going to struggle with this, but we know... Ooh, Drillmaster. Very not nice. dauntless. Yeah, it's up to plus one straight away there. Okay, fine. Um, this could be very tricky. We left our cavalry, by the way. We sent them over to the army to take York in the end. They sent that force over here, and we didn't even need them. Now... We could do with them in this battle, which is a bit of a shame, but it happens sometimes. If we lose it, not the end of the world. It does happen in Rebel campaigns, but we might yet see one more heroic stand. Well, because I'm really, really clever, I managed to leave two units of archers over by the keep. That's just brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so immediately, what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to get this cavalry out, aren't we? And we're just going to immediately try and disrupt this here ram. The ram has to go down. There is no way we win this battle if all of that cavalry is allowed to start thundering on in. 
we will have no chance. So we need that to go down first and foremost. Once that's burnt, well, we'd very much like this to be dealt with too. So cavalry, yeah, maybe just one swings out to deal with this and just slow that down. And one swings out to deal with the ladder. Just again, slow them down, get the tower shooting for as long as possible. So let's just go and do that. Holly bars, get yourself out here nice and quick. You're the quicker unit. Go and intercept these guys. We need this to burn. Come on, burn. Damn it, it's a horrible, horrible day. They picked a good day to not have a burnt down ram, but we need it to go. We need it to go no matter what. And um, you guys, come on, get on. Just run into him. Run into the ladders. There we go. There we go. Uh, at this point, at this point, to be honest, you've, you've disrupted them. Now you need to go disrupt this ram because this ram has not burnt down yet. How is it not on fire? Oh, okay, Archer Militia are pushing it. That's fine. We can get on top of them for a moment. Yeah, get on top of them. That's absolutely grand. Right, they're now distracted for a little while. Our archers should still... Now, the towers might not shoot the ram, but I'm still happy shooting the ram. So, yeah, get my men to go and shoot that. Uh, I'm going to pull these little light cav away, and the knights are going to slam into them a little bit. Armored sergeants, slightly more problematic, of course. Right. Uh, what are these cavalry doing? They are... Oh, they're routing. That's what they're doing. They're routing, Thomas. Yay! Right, how are my archers doing like nothing to this? This is not great, is it? Okay. Uh, that tower is distracted. Right, we've seen this before. They are very, very distracted by all of this. The ram is not currently burning down, but it's not currently got anything happening either. Archers need to be dealt with. Oh, please. Can someone just burn this ram? How are they not burnt down yet? The generals just charge into the castle wall. That is excellent. You just ram into them and keep charging. Keep running. Keep running. Keep on running. Don't break because you're going to be in big trouble if you break. Right. One break isn't the worst thing in the world for us. Uh, they've actually regrouped, which is unfortunate timing because potentially they're about to be killed by the general. No? Okay. Right. We, you'd rip. Oh, actually, look. The other archers have arrived. Yay. Please burn down the ram. You really, really should be in a position to burn down the ram. Can you guys burn down this tower? Because it'd be really nice if they needed one point of entry, actually. Uh, get the infantry into that position. That would be absolutely grand. We need the ram to go down, damn it. Maybe they'll just get distracted and won't bother with it like last time. That was kind of amusing. Um, General, yeah, we can run him by the tower. Actually, archers, archers, archers. Do you want to burn down the tower? Do we want to shoot this general in the back right now? I think we want to shoot the general in the back. Yeah, shoot the general in the back. Guys, go, go, go. Run, 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 good boy, yeah, running around the farm, that'll be fine. As for these cav, they're just standing over there. These arch militia about to grab this ram again. Come on, ram. One day it's got to burn down, surely. General is just standing there now. That's fine. Get the cav wandering back there, but I have to try and keep a vague eye on it. These guys are distracted again. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Just playing around with this. It'd be lovely. If, I mean, you'd think there's a whole longbow unit right there. There's another one over here. These guys need to stop shooting that and just start shooting a unit. Frankly, that'd be much, much more effective. So, yeah, just, just stop worrying about that. Yeah, no more fire. And no more skirmish mode in case that does something stupid to you up there. And these cavalry just need to hope that they don't get themselves caught out right now. They're moving the tower. Uh, they're about to break because they've just got themselves caught out. They're too slow for this, aren't they? They are indeed. Okay, you go and deal with that tower, which for some reason is pushing backwards. Is it trying to go to the other side? It might be, you know. <laughs> Come on, we got to burn something. How is nothing burning down? With the generals in range of the longbow moon and nothing's burning, we might as well just shoot him because, quite frankly, that's going to be pretty darn nice for us. So, um, these two archers, get your fire on and start shooting that siege tower because that's what we really need to be going on right now. These guys seem to have demolished whatever was actually standing there, so nice job. Well, I don't think they have, actually. Uh, I think they've mostly dealt with it. Anyway, that's all fine. Yeah, they, the they are... Oh, they've got the ladders there. Oh, Shiza Manelli. Shizers, Manelli, they've got the ladders there, and now we're actually going to have to fight. That's not good. Okay, they're going to fight us here. We now need... I'm just going to assume they're not going to use any of these towers or anything anymore. So if you have a shot into these armoured sergeants, then do it. Okay, General's way back there now. Does this guy actually have range to him? 
Apparently he apparently he does. Just keep shooting him if you can shoot him. That'd be absolutely marvellous. But yeah, we, we do have a bit of a problem now because they now have the ladders up. Unfortunately, we couldn't keep them away forever, especially with all the breaking. But come on, just, just run into them. Just disrupt them. There we go. You can get on top of them. Oh, they're climbing back down. No, 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 no. Climb back down. Climb back down. There we are. Look, look, look. Oh, there we are. Come on. Come on. Climb it down again. Oh, no. They're going to catch us now. Oh, no. They're running in. Flee. Flee. Oh, uh, excellent. They're, not, they're sort of... They're doing a bit of a silly dance. It's excellent. Defeat is almost Sultan. Uh, all archers go off fire. No more fire. Just death. Um, these knights are... I mean, that general's... In lots of range of our towers. I mean, we'll probably find out later that the towers have done a stupidly large amount. My my cav are all just in the in the melee now. Just try and run through. The longer you're there, the more distracting you are. Can't afford to send the general out, but I think that's it for my cavalry. That's it for the cav. We can do no more disrupting unless this guy gets himself regrouped. Up at the top here, 35 on them, 55 there. Uh, it's not great. Long Bowman, please just shoot the general. Can we just kill this general? We're doing terrible work with the uh, with the archers, by the way. I don't feel like they've achieved anything in this battle. We might well find that they have later on. But for now, oh, they're climbing back down. They're climbing down, they're climbing up. Is that because they got distracted by something? Yeah, they're broken. Okay, that makes sense. So they're broken. That's one more broken unit. My general's here, by the way, just to make sure that morale is close on those guys. If this tower... Hmm. Okay, I think what we need to do is keep an eye on that tower, but we can always shoot it down if we need to. I think we need, yeah, we need these guys all over here. Potentially, we just need reinforcements in this part of the world. So you get yourselves over in this part, and this is going to be a chunky affair now, but they're taking their time. They're not really climbing up too much. Whoever's up here, what's even happening? Are they just getting themselves killed? They're not even fighting right now. They're just... <laughs> just waiting on the battlements. We're gonna. Are this gonna get shot by the arrows gradually, aren't they? That eh, works for me, I suppose. Um, longbows. Do you want to just get some shots in? Get some shots in, guys. Well, from the Norman point of view, it's a bit of a grim day, isn't it? The generals decide to run way off into the distance. It's chucking it down with rain, and it's just an average day in Wales, to be honest. And they are marching up the ladders to their inevitable death. It's um. Not as bad as last time, because last time it was the Earl's Huskulls up here. As I say, these are... They're better than our infantry, but they're not chunky axemen who are just going to slaughter us. Now, we might not do huge damage to them, but their low damage attack does mean that, yeah, particularly these levy spearmen are able to hold out surprisingly well. And these guys barely lost anything either. Oh, yeah. Doing very nice up here. I don't think we're actually struggling too badly. The reinforcements have made it too... So yeah, you guys just make sure we've got some extra men in position. Let's just keep a close eye, actually. You guys hold back the rest of your arrows because we might need you to burn something down in case they are, yeah, at any point wanting to re-grab it. But it looks like they're just focused now on this. There must be something in the code, really, whereby, yeah, if you interrupt them for long enough, they just decide, oh, the towers and the rams aren't working. And they've got an access point, so they're just going for the access point. It's interesting because on, on Rome Total War you generally see they will siege for two or three turns and get an overwhelming amount of siege equipment. Like a good six, eight rams, for example, if it's just a, you know, not a stone wall. And even on a stone wall they'll generally get themselves plenty of towers, plenty of ladders. On this they do seem to like jumping in nice and early and that is a... Bit of a problem, actually, for the AI. They just attack way too soon and they're not ready. It wouldn't make much of a difference in the auto-resolve. certainly makes a difference for me in this battle. If they sent each of these spearmen up on a different wall, they would probably win each individual fight, although potentially towers could do it, but yeah, it'd be a lot harder for me. Well, as for the actual fighting, we're not falling off like we often do on Rome. That's a bit of a sad thing, isn't it? I always love them falling off the walls. That hasn't been happening, but... They are, well, they're starting to make a little bit of a dent. They are pushing us back, which is noteworthy. We're getting tired, yeah. I mean, that's what I feel like is currently going on. They're winded, these peasants. You know what? I'm going to pull those guys back because they are far enough back to not need to be there and be a potential break. 
If I can pull back those levy spearmen, I will. I'm going to send these to our militia. Not the greatest unit, but they're fresher, damn it. And if I need to use them, I will. These guys are not getting out of there anytime soon. Go onto the fence and just hold them. Just hold the area. The arrows will do the job. The town militia are going to come in and hopefully relieve you a little bit. Just kind of get yourselves over there. Yeah, push on through. That's the rest of it. No, these guys aren't being used. That's good. Just need to keep a very occasional eye on all of that nonsense. But we're looking okay. These arrows are all gone now. These guys, unfortunately, they, they, they don't really have any shots because they're a little bit too close to the action. But if the general comes back, we'll shoot them down with those longbows. They are ready, though, starting to push on through. So I think these longbows can flee. These ones can move there. And peasants, you need to start swinging over there and assisting in that position. We just need to get fresh men in wherever possible. As for the longbowmen who are clambering on down right now, uh, I don't know. You're winded anyway because you have been firing. We'll just leave you down here as potential support. Actually, no, we'll just send them back to the plaza. There is actually another fresh unit of peasants on the plaza. So, get you to the plaza, get the peasants back out here to the walls, and yeah, let's just keep making sure we've got fresh enough units here to fight. These guys are shaking and very tired. Just hold. Just guard. Let the towers do their heavy lifting for you. Same with these guys. Just keep holding as much as you can, guys. You're doing an excellent job. As we send reinforcements in, we now need to resort to, yeah, using the longbowmen over here and getting some shots in. So, clamber up the walls, guys. Oh, there's the mass break just as they arrived. They knew what was about to happen. And in come the missiles from the longbows. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's the uh, the peasants just coming in. And I just got my reinforcement. Yes! <laughs> Victory! Victory and glory. Okay, I'm gonna send the general out, but I need to be a little bit careful here because they're still they're still there, all of these units. They're just they're fleeing. Okay, that's fine. My general should be safe. Blow the horn as you go out, so maybe the uh Hobbilar will come and help you. But yeah, let's let's get them shot down just as just my longbows arrived. The other longbows, by the way, just arrived up here to fight them. I mean that's what did it to be honest. Uh we got some fresh men into the fight. Okay. Charge them down. Don't let them escape, Jibber. And yeah, you know what, peasants, if you infantry want to chase them down, by the way, do. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, that was another horrible, horrible affair. But yeah, the AI just needs to bring more equipment. It needs to commit to get using this stuff. It didn't burn. How did it not burn down? Absolutely insane. If we just went inside of it there, there's no magical like anti-fire insulation. In fact, there's plenty of oxygen here to burn it, for Pete's sake. Oh, well... Job basically done. Let's just mop them up. Let's just make sure, by the way, that these guys are actually gone before my general gets himself killed. But yeah, by and large, seems like we've managed to slaughter them once again. A glorious victory for us there, then. We've 527 taken down. That's pretty much the entire infantry and archer corps of the Normans taken down. They do have plenty of mailed knights left, but... Okay, general bodyguard gain two there. The hobbylars gain themselves something as well. Levy Spearman definitely did a good job. Well done, sir. Now, as for casualties inflicted, how much did the archers do? Almost nothing by those two. The same with the longbowmen. They just couldn't do anything for some reason. Standing there on the battlements, they were just achieving basically nothing. Bit of a shame, but these guys, these bell knights are heroes, by the way. Only 12 inflicted for their 15 casualties, but just really imperious and brave work. And who can really argue with that? Okay, well, 70 for the town militia, 72 for the levy spearmen. Not a lot, really, but the towers will certainly do their work eventually. Well, Bologna has been upgraded to a castle, and so has Florence. That's intriguing. So we can get ourselves three mailed knights now. Yay. Okay, um, maybe we do that. Maybe. Actually, no, we just want to hold. We just want to hold. Let's not spend our money down here unnecessarily. But we will get a castle upgrade over in Genoa just to make sure we're holding the fort. Now, as for the rest of our money, uh, probably probably retraining, to be honest, guys. Uh, retraining that 21. The 28 can reinforce that 60, so that's perfect. And if we want to recruit, we've used up all the peasantry, so that's about it. Get the mailed knights up to speed. Now, Gottfried von Luxemburg, you, sir, seem to be in the wrong place. We seem to have Luxembourg, so sod off. Now, okay, England, England, England. I think this York, well, 
There's a good chance the Saxons will go and take York while we do this, but I think we need to go take out the English and not really worry about York so much. So let's leave behind some of our rabble. Where can this guy get to, by the way? He can absolutely scum. Yeah, he can totally reach us, but that's not the not a big problem. Where can he get to? I really don't want this guy getting caught out. Hmm. Come stand over here and hide in the forest. Now, the AI does have a, normally have a very good knack of hunting you down, but there's not a lot more I can do with him right now. Possibly could have just got him into Carnarvon, but that's fine. Carnarvon will just uh, hold off. Ooh, a fleet's arrived. That's nice. We might actually keep this fleet, Mr. Um, yes, Mr. Fleet. So, we'll grab him. That'd be marvellous. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's time. It is definitely time for more longbows. Let's get those guys done. And anything else of note? Okay, York. York, 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 York. You, you can't do anything. Inverness. Let's just get ourselves three of those chunky Highlanders. We can send them down to York. Maybe they can do something to help defend it. But honestly, I'm not too bothered if we lose that in the short term. We need to go take out the, uh, the Normans. And okay, other than that, I think it's probably a case of leaving it for the end term because I don't really want to push the Papal States. We just want to hold them in place. So with York looking, well, we'll just whack up the tax rate because sod you. Same in Edinburgh, actually. Sod you, very high tax rate. And same in Dublin, pay your taxes. And with that, I think I might have to go mop up all the boats, but I might actually keep this one. Could be useful for getting these troops around, potentially. Of course, the Saxons magically know we're hiding in the forest, don't they? We'll try to withdraw, but uh, yeah, as ever, the AI gets to withdraw the whole entire map and we get to withdraw all of two squares. Absolutely brilliant. So we have to lose this pretty solid force now because there was nowhere else for them to get to. Bit of a shame, but how do we feel about this? Well, it's actually not as strong as I thought it was. Now, we're not going to win but we could do some damage. How is Prince Carl himself? Sorry, I just had a look at that. Dauntless, which is unfortunate. Um, cool and cunning, yes. Yeah, so he's got dread and he's got his own morale, so that's a bit of an issue. What do we want to take out then? Maybe let's try and think of a key scout from this battle. We have longbows. We could probably kill him with, with a couple longbows, actually. We can hold position. But, uh, well, just the sheer amount of infantry will be overwhelming. But we could do some work with the longbows if we're sensible and clever enough about it. We'll see what we can do. No, totally. It totally occurs to me now that what I should have done at Carnarvon was put the stakes in front of the gateway because that is totally a legit strat and certainly a good way of dealing with the Mongols. But it also works for, yeah, this particularly heavy Norman cavalry army that we were just dealing with. But hey ho, they never broke in the front gate, so we never really had to worry about using the sharpened stakes. It's just as well they didn't because I'd be kicking myself if I forgot about that. So there we are. Okay, we'll just put those slightly useless archers over there. And to be honest, we know what I want to do, but I'm just going to send my cavalry thundering down and do a bit of skirmishing. Try and keep them at some skirmishing distances where the archers can maybe do something. So you have to stop there a moment. We'll have a look where the archers can shoot to, which is around about that ridge there. Okay, so... We'll we'll give a we'll give a charge and then we'll hopefully try and catch them a little bit early and maybe shoot them down. In comes the cavalry charge and a little smash on them. That's very nice indeed. Let's pull out before the fanes get on top of us, guys. We are eager. That's somewhat surprising, but I will take it. So, yes, we'll get ourselves lined up over in that position. The fanes are charging us down. I do you see huskers at the edge and? Yeah, not spears, but very good units. And we could get a lovely charge into those guys, potentially. So I'm going to try and do that. They are going to eventually make it up to our actual line here. But, yeah, unfortunately there's no cavalry. But even so, the stakes, I guess, are slightly... Uh, just a bit of an ob obstacle. <laughs> Maybe it'll do something. Anyway, the main reason I put them in there was just to uh, point out what I should have done last time. So, yeah, we'll charge into these guys now because they are not braced for this. And we might well get a pretty phenomenal hit on them if we're lucky. 48 Huskulls. They look like they've been knocked down pretty badly there. And they're down to 70. <laughs> if this unit does little else, that is almost worth it in itself. But at this stage, yeah, we do need to go and get on top of some of these archers. 
we, we need to save some of the skirmishing time. It's just a tiny bit closer because the longbowmen aren't quite in range yet. I mean, not quite. I mean, they're still quite a way away from being in range. So a nice bit of skirmishing there. Might just disrupt them. But yeah, we, we should do it in range next time uh, just to make sure we get maximum damage. The longbowmen are now in range, which is excellent news. And now we just need to do as much disruption as we possibly can. So run these guys forward. They're going to absolutely plow into the archers. You might well just retreat into... Oh, it's peasants this time, although the fanes are there as well. Okay, that's fine. Just We slightly pulled out of that, but it's not the end of the world. Some of these guys can turn themselves around quicker than that. Quicker than that. We don't need the general fleeing, but we do need to keep... For Pete's sake, sir. You're on a horse! They have no horse! For Pete's sake. At least run back towards our own men so that you can regrow... Oh, for Pete's sake. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Archers are doing some work. Well, they at least killed some of those Huskars, didn't they? They pretty much took that unit out. But if you'd love to get back into battle, that'd be perfect. We are indeed back into battle, and that's just as well because they are now starting to approach us, and particularly the longbows. I really want to keep them shooting as long as possible, and it's your job to keep them at bay. So, uh, how long can these guys last, do you reckon? I, I don't know, but we're going to run in and find out. So, who do we want to kill there's some peasants at the front here i mean we can hold against that maybe you, maybe we actually need these guys to charge in against a sensible opponent so a little charge in the rear that's fine just try and pull back as many units as possible at this stage run into them run into them and you guys just shoot those peasants that'll be fine <laughs> okay uh as many of these guys just need to hold can these... Uh, I don't know how long these guys are going to hold. They're not going to hold very long. There's just too much overwhelming force here. Uh, longbows, you shoot them as much as possible. These guys, do you have a clean shot at anyone? You do. You do. But can you shoot someone? Oh, King Harold. In fact, maybe you just shoot him. See if you can get lucky. See if you can get lucky on King Harold. Uh, it isn't Harold, of course, but that's just the unit once again. So, shoot in, shoot in, shoot in, shoot in, shoot in. Those guys are just going to deliver a nice big charge into the rear. Hopefully he's not going to break. He's still actually eager, apparently. King Harold's just running straight through at him. Yeah, aren't he surprising? Um, we're breaking. Just keep shooting at Harold. We might get lucky. Was that a noble death? It is a noble death. No! Get into Harold if at all possible. At least fight into the death. Unfortunately, you... Spearmalesha ran right across the bloody wrong part of the battlefield. Just guard mode and try and shoot as much as possible. Uh, because they generally keep fighting a little bit like that. You guys come in... Actually, no, they're, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do, which is hold up about eight units. I made them break by doing that, for Pete's sake. Why did I click on them? Oh, well. Oh, well. Some good units here. Wasted. 33% actually. Not too bad, but... Um, we have lost half of lost our, half men. our men. Let's see if we can intercept and just give them a moment to regroup, but I highly doubt it. Uh, <laughs> this should be it, you guys. Hold for a few Your seconds. No! We have been dealt a oh, defeat stinging today. defeat here today. Flaming arrows killing their own men, which is amusing. Yeah, keep burning your own men. Keep burning. Keep fu oh. I wonder if this man is dead or not. It looks like he's hurt. Who knows if he'll survive. Okay, Captain Hebert did kill slightly more than he lost. Although, actually, technically he lost all of that. Okay, let's ignore that point, but we killed a couple units. It's okay. They're just a random spawn. Well, with Prince Carl heading out to the countryside to take on our random force, it does leave Nottingham a bit open. Now, okay, I could swing in. They could immediately return there. So I think... We're going to go and take on the Luxembourg bloke, which seems like a sensible plan if I actually bring the whole army along. So, <laughs> there we go. Um, we, we can add one unit into that, so we'll just send some of the longbows to get some practice. We'll head into that battle in a minute. The heretics just continuing to uh, do a bit of spying around the map. And Khan, oh yeah. We have ourselves some longbowmen. Now, I'm going to go and spend all my money on the barracks because I'm just intrigued to see 
if we can get what I want from it. I know that might be a bit of a waste of money if we don't, but I feel like you can get them, especially if they just spawned there. Maybe we need a, maybe we need the next level up. This is already a fortress though, right? Yeah. So I will see. We will see. Maybe, maybe I cancel the building. <laughs> Maybe I reload and cancel the building once and before the end if 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 that doesn't work. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out that issue later, to be honest. Over in Bologna, I'm also going to build a mustering hall just to see if that comes up with anything. That's only 600, so I don't really care if that mucks up or not. That's Lord Rufus there. Aha. Uh -huh. right, that's some of the more experienced guys. They look quite tasty. Uh, plenty of units here. Some ballista being built as well. So still a fair amount of English troops still to take down, but... They're not as strong as they were. Okay, let's head into... Oh, we can't. We're out of movement points. Fine. Next turn, we'll get on with that again. On the end turn, we have a random battle to face because some units spawned over here near the Pope. Now, actually, Pope Alexander's already chased us off and this second army has come to deal us a blow. Except his army was big enough to kill us. This army is not. This is the army from up in Florence. So, okay, we have a bonus battle on our hands. So let's take out this guy. He's got marks of war, but other than that, looks like a fairly even affair. He has himself Pavis, so do we. He has himself Italian spin militia, so do we. He has himself mailed light, so do we. He has a general, we have some shitty, shitty crossbowmen. Okay, well, we, it's fairly even. Let's see if we can do it. An intriguing battle. We obviously have ourselves a slight disadvantage at the start, but we are going to try and equalize that as much as possible by getting good matchups. So, Pavis crossbowmen at the front. Hopefully, we'll just get a good charge in on them. And pull yourselves out of there right now, guys. Right out of there, because that should be a good, brutal charge. 14. Yeah. Get yourself. No, just keep running. Don't. Have you not heard the memo? The memo is kill the Pavis. Yes, yeah, six of them left. That is perfect. So, pull yourselves out of there. Now, ideally, what we're going to do is use the little farm here. Now, we did this on the. I think it was the second episode of the original. Rebel series from Medieval 2, and it's pretty much the the crucial battle at the start that let us won the, win the whole campaign. And it was just to use the farm just to break up their forces and give us a bit of a flanking maneuver. So that's what I'm hoping to do here. Um, we've taken out what we need to there. Now the main thing is, is trying to get their spears into or their cavalry into my spears and see if I can just hold them. Really. Now the thing with the mailed knights is, I want to get a charge in on them without them really charging me. So we'll see how that goes, but we did Pavis crossbow moon over in this part of the world. So we're gonna get ourselves over here. Now we can't quite use the wall like in Empire, but they still have pretty clean shots, so it doesn't really matter. It won't give us blocking, but uh, it will be pretty helpful. Wow, they turned around at that exact second, didn't they? That's just interesting. So that's slightly thrown them, hasn't it? Okay, well, we're just going to charge into the rear of them and just see if they change their mind about what they're doing. I think they're just trying to reorganise. Yeah, they are. They are, unfortunately. So let's just pull ourselves back. Your guy, you guys are the attackers. Come and kill me. Bit of a change of plan. There are a few Pavis crossbowmen shooting us down, so we'll just charge them down because they seem to have run away from their support. There we go. Pull away from that. But we are, do have our own Pavis shooting down their spear militia, which is going quite nicely, actually. So we're just going to run these guys back. I don't mind if we get these guys there and then those ones just do the flanking. That's fine by me. But, okay, Pavis, Pavis, Pavis. Get yourselves back at this point. We really don't want you to get yourselves killed by the Pope. You're a pretty darn strong unit. So, actually this isn't the Pope, this is just the Pope's friend. Charge the mailed knights if at all possible. Charge! That wasn't much of a charge, but you know what? It's absolutely fine. We'll just hold them for a moment. Pull back out of there because we're now in the position we want to be. Let's not lose... Uh, an engagement that we're going to lose because yeah 25 versus 21 we've already had a few knocks they have not okay you guys should be shooting down that general uh and you pull up just charge back in and we'll get the spearmen on top spearmen will finish them off yeah this is working the reverse way around to what i plan now which is basically that those got no don't do that you're supposed to be shooting him get my general out of there you just want the we want them pinned by our infantry. That's good work. Where are their infantry, by the way? You need to shoot them. You need to get yourselves lined up around there. And these guys just hold position and shoot those guys as much as possible. Now, Pavis, Pavis, Pavis. That's fine. You know what? Yeah, you hold that. 
And go and just just go and kill those meld knights. That's fine. <laughs> These guys need to move. It's a bit of an awkward. You need to move here so that building's not in the way, you numpties. Utterly oh, ridiculous. All right, 13 versus 8. We've largely got that under control. There's a few Pavis at the back still fighting. Those guys just need to shoot as much as they can. Uh, yeah, get your shot in there. That's fine. You guys have way too slow at winning this battle. 7 v 11. Just turn around and charge into these guys. Just want any any bonus we can. It's a little bit, a little bit un, yeah, imperfect kind of battles going on. Fine. So, 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 so. How is this going? You're obviously losing, but you at least land in some shots, because if they're landing shots, then this is fine. But it doesn't, doesn't really look like it right now. Um, our general is... Right, he's chased him off. Oh, yeah, he's chased him off. That's perfect. Spin militia. Get around to them. You keep shooting. You're probably doing nothing, but it's absolutely fine. We're going to win this. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be okay. These guys are going to flee the exact second we arrive, aren't they? Because obviously they are. Uh, General's just mopping up then. General can come around and finish them. Yeah, they broke us the exact second that we arrived. Of course they My really Lord, well did. There's the General. And now we need to get these Pavis over here. Unfortunately, they've regrouped before we arrived. But you know what? It's fine, probably. You guys get into this position. General, swing around the back. And yeah, those, spit, those guys are in trouble. General. General charge down. General, you charge down him. And the crossbows will probably absolutely slaughter those spear militia. So, send the general into this guy. Just charge for him. Charge straight for him and let the spearmen do the job. That's fine. You do what you're supposed to do. These guys are now getting shot in the back. That's perfect. Spear militia on these guys. Yeah, we've got the matchup that we want now. That's perfect. Okay, you chase them down because they're broken. You need to be shooting him as much as you can. And I think we've largely done it. We just need to see if we can kill the general if he's just fleeing right now because it looks awfully like he's just fleeing across the border. He's quite blooded up, by the way. Oh, he's turning around. Might be able to kill him yet. Victory and glory. He's running away now. And down he goes. The Italian spin militia doing their job. This has been a tight affair because there's only 18 of them left. Um, what is left? Just those guys to chase down. So that's absolutely fine. Unsurprisingly, yeah, unsurprisingly, the peasant crossmen did break, but they broke quite late in the day. So actually, not too bad, lads. Officially a heroic victory. I will certainly take that. And I'm going to send the army immediately onto the boat and just make sure that they get around, uh, well, just around the Pope, really. Um, this is currently got no one in it, which means I think it's probably a good idea to just send my force to put it under siege, actually. So we'll go and do that. These guys... Well, they can get that far, so that's fine. You go do that. Absolutely fine. Mailed knights, come and join the party if you can. Okay, we can at least take Florence back. And the Pope will still have Rome, at least for the time being. That's not a problem to me. This guy doesn't really need to be uh, blockading. He just needs to keep an eye out on the Pope, who... Yeah, it's just normally hiding around the forests there. So we'll grab our boats to spam them. And I don't think there was too much else on the end turn there. Mastering Horn in Bologna, did that give us anything? Oh, it gave us peasants. Well, that's something, I suppose. But not an awful lot. Yeah, not a huge amount going on in this part of the world. Just sending these around, by the way, because they will do whatever they want if you don't use up the movement points. So let's go and finish what we should, which is this lad over here. Who is in a corner, and he basically only has peasants anyway. But one unit of thanes and one general going down. So they need to go. Let's take them out. There is nothing fancy about my position in here today. We are just a line of infantry, a line of missiles, and a line of cavalry. But I should probably just make sure at this point that I do get my cavalry out to the flanks. So we'll probably just send all but one on this flank because, to be honest, there is a massive hill down here over to the sea, which is nice. So yeah, we'll just send that into that direction. Yeah, get the other guy just onto that little side hill here. And yeah, we're just going to be laying tons and tons of missiles in them. To be honest, yeah, what have we got here? Yeah, some peasant spearmen being charged down. 
bunch of Thanes charging them. Can the longbow aim at the Thanes, please? I don't want them to get on top of the cavalry, so get out of there, sirs. Utter numpties. Yeah, they're just going to take on our infantry. Nothing too surprised about that. Get those cavalry to do a charge. And yeah, these guys can come and support. You pull out of there, you yeah, utter numpties. Those Thanes should be getting shot by all my missiles. In fact, can I tell? Actually, I can't really tell them all to be shooting. Yeah, yeah they're already breaking. That's fine. So, over here in the... Well, I was going to say the centre, but it's not. It's very much the flank. General getting charged. <laughs> the Silver Surfer falls to the floor. And with that... Oh, yeah. He is gone almost immediately. So, that battle was brutal. Um, no more missiles, please. Missiles just start running after people. But luckily for us, there are no cavalry, so we're just going to chase down each of their units individually. And apparently we haven't won the battle yet, but we have now. Victory and glory. So yeah, victory is ours. Only 3% lost in that battle. 28 men, probably just the odd infantry at the front line. Yes, yeah, some of the mailed knights actually did sustain because they uh, got hit by the fanes. But mostly, yeah, just the odd one or two man around. Excellent work, and with that, yes indeed, better to reign as a rebel than as a prince, sir. And he drowns over in the Welsh lands. So with that, Ganmor, oh yeah, he's a Scottish lad, isn't he? Okay, Jibby, you can bring yourself forward and maybe we can start organising these forces because, yeah, we have some more men over here to bring into that force. So let's send them around. Maybe we'll get the army on the boat and we'll bring them over to Bristol. I think we'll do that. That's probably a good place. It's a nice beach over here towards Bridport. So we'll go over there. We'll hop across to Bristol. And then we'll organise our force in that position. So yeah, we'll get ourselves over here. Hi, Mr. Norman Assassin. I can't protect myself from you. It's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Um, hmm... Yes, we don't really have any way of protecting against you. So we have Nottingham and London left to deal with. York is fairly undefended, of course, but we'll start dealing with that in time. Because, all right, they've battered up their armies. That's all they've got left. The king is in Nottingham, by the way, these days. So 44% heretic. That's probably why uh, we got the rebel spawn over in... Uh, in the south of England last time, or the west of England. As for the Pope, as for the Pope, okay. Right, next time, next time, next time, next time, we need to go and take back Florence. There's a castle this time, but it's only a family member. That should be simple enough. In fact, I put a ram there, but let's just get myself some towers, because to be honest, that's all we're going to need to head on in. They are failing to bribe my Genoese castle there, which is hilarious. And as for England and yeah, the Normans, we're gathering their forces over in Carnarvon. And between them, we can then decide where we're going to go. You know what? As much as the Normans feel like the final battle, yeah, the Saxons at Nottingham as a castle, that could be one hell of an affair. So we'll decide which way we're going to go next time. But for now, I will leave you. I'm Thomas, this is Denise to Human. And this has been a Rebel Prologue campaign from Medieval 2 Total War. Thank you, and bye-bye. Suffice to say, I could be doing a better job of, you know, not burning down my own city. Ho, ho, ho! That's the kind of hit we won. Let it not be said that our emperor doesn't lead from the very front to hack down the peasants. This is about to go horrendously wrong. It's absolutely fine. It just gives these guys a reminder to maybe aim better next time. <laughs>